In the early 90s, a distinct music style came up in Goa. Driven by an underground gathering of musicians who were creating continuous electronic music. This sound was passed on through unmarked cassette tapes, which were copied, added upon, and passed on further. Until a point that Goa trance became an established music genre and cemented the association of Goa with a global music culture. Goa has been synonymous with trance ever since. What started out at places like Baga and Anjuna has been, for a long time, the legacy we have come to identify the city with. Most of us probably still continue to do so. That is, until you witness the ecosystem which has flourished in the fishing village of Arambo. Musicians here come in from around the world. Each of them carries an instrument of choice with them. They seek out other musicians to play with. And combine their styles to create something new. This confluence of varied influences in a common space has created a distinct sound. One which could only have come into existence with the journey to Arambold in the first place. We spent a season with the traveling musicians who had come to make Arambold their home for the special period of the year. Are you making a video, you fucking... <laughs> You're supposed to be taking pictures. <laughs> We lived in experience together, shared with them some wisdom and some time. Welcome to a glimpse into the traveling musicians of Arambo. Their stories, their journeys, and their sounds. to say down on the beach as they play bouncing on the sun all together holding hands as the sun's falling down I turn to my love and say to her the golden times I hear my girl my love for you possible, huh? But well, let's give it a go because we're all going to dance. Put your hands together for Joe! There is something that is happening in Arambol that has happened to numerous musicians. They'll be playing at an event. There's been somebody from either Russia or France or somewhere and someone's gone, you should come to my country. So they spin off. So economically you don't come here for that value. But you just be coming here for the spin off. And that happens quite a lot. It probably is the first kind of uh, um, probably the first time with people come together from all over the world in one area for a season to be creative uh, in, in this way. So that's probably a new thing. So we are a new culture in many ways. With the advancement of technology, um, uh, 
uh, a lot of people here are doing their own business and stuff like that. So this is a slightly new experiment because we're not coming here with the baggage from our past, though there's a lot of baggage in our bowl. Um, some of the bags are empty and some of the bags are full. There's more and more Indian uh, participants in, in this community. So originally it was just the local people mixed with the foreigners, mostly from Europe. Uh, and now over time, it's definitely I see a, a more and more influx of Indian artists and yeah. Indian travelers. So uh, that's that makes it not only that we are the neo-colonialists yeah. with uh, with our own baggage and saying, oh, isn't it nice because yeah. it's cheap here? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Globally, as far as I've traveled, in this one kilometer distance, there's more music happening here than anywhere else in the world. And if anybody else knows something different, they haven't told me yet. Paradiesvogel nennt. Der Paradiesvogel des Kabaretts. Bitte begrüßen Sie mit einem besonders herzlichen Applaus Sissi Perlinger. Um, my name is Sissi Perlinger and I'm a German comedian. I know a lot of people would say this is a contradiction in itself, but I've been doing that for over 30 years. I'm doing fine. Yeah, I've reinvented myself pretty much. I was having a severe burnout and tinnitus in Germany because I did like three careers at the same time. I was a comedian, I had my solo show <laughs> and um, I had my own television shows at the same time. I did like uh, tons of you know talk show here and blah blah there and, and I did a, I wrote books and I did my own fashion collection and done a little bit CD recordings and I'm a singer yes and I want to do this too and that too and then eventually um, this alarm bell in my ears said wait a minute are you totally out of your mind and it forced me to decide what is really the most important part in my life and this is of course what I write myself my 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 the reason for my reincarnation is my job I wonder why I put myself through the test who decides what's good or even better on the best I feel what's real right inside my heart and in my chest so I try to be wise and blessed and not to rise above the rest take all the trophies off my desk and I keep an eye on what I manifest and you know what I manifested you and you I'm coming to India for 18 years now in a row I came here I totally fell in love when I when I come back every season I really cry in joy it's like coming home I begin to learn music at 13 uh, with drum and I discover the handpan uh, 15 years ago, something like that. energy and it's a little paradise for musicians I think yes you can learn a lot of things in your time. I think the RMO music scene is a very rare miracle 
because we have musicians from all over the world coming here, meeting each other, and it's like, and then they form bands quickly. Like some some guys, I see them in the afternoon. They say, Ah, oh, hey, you come, you play guitar. Ah, oh, yeah, let's go. Next evening, they are on stage jamming away. A week later, they have like formed the whole thing and the flyer and the poster. <laughs> I've been or Dr. Asparagus yeah. and um, I've been beatboxing for many years. Yeah. I do a variety of different sort of uh, yeah. things, hip hop, yeah. reggae, yeah. dub. Yeah. It's just awesome to have a place which is like so dedicated to music commerce. So I know it's not everyone, I know there's like the, the musician scene and then there's also like lots of other people that are here, but I feel like going out and watching music, for playing music. It's just awesome. Greenwich Village, you had all these artists in the 50s and 60s, poets, writers, musicians, coming together. It was a special time in, in, uh, in history. In many ways, I think Arundel is a, is, a, is a continuation of that. I could be dreaming. We have, sometimes we have concerts where I say, woof, the energy is higher than it must have been in Woodstock. People freak out, musicians give their best, to everybody is in the flow. There's just so many different styles, so many different musicians from all over the world. People are always just up for jamming, you know, like you can go anywhere. You could probably be jamming like, Every day, the whole day, I don't know how many hours a day, maybe 24 hours. No, I guess people usually sleep for a bit, but you know. The rocket, the rocket, the what? Got the rocket, oh, I got the rocket, hey, got the rocket, ow, oh. cheese. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got it. Do, 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 do. I think it's really exciting. It's really, uh, it's not like a thing I've ever seen before. The way that you have all these musicians coming together from different corners of the world. Very talented musicians all coming together and then playing together. And the fact that you can kind of survive by just playing shows, um, which is very rare at home. Um, and yeah, there are some exceptionally talented musicians here. I think it's a really, really special place. I'll definitely be back next year. right now in the States, San Francisco, um, traveling around Europe for five years, South America, never met, this is my first five days in India, and I love it, it's paradise. I met so many musicians in the last one, four hours, and in the last five minutes. Like, um, yeah, this place is uh, really amazing. The view is like high concentration. It's like a big festival that doesn't end. <laughs> Thank you.
this if you wanna if you have a if you wanna cut it together and you need some music underneath yeah. this would be a nice one and it says it it talks about Aramol a little bit. negativity in modern pop music um, like I can't get no satisfaction that is such a consumer you know you can't always get what you want how negative is this you know um, I think it's time to use the power of words especially if you write it and then you practice it and then you perform it this is a lot of repetition it develops a mantric power it's contagious so come on let's take Until 5,000 years ago, the shamanic rituals were, were conducted by the women. They were the ones who imitated the heart beating, who played the drums. You can see that in the old cave paintings. And, um, and it's been taken away from us because a drum is power. If you have a drum, you can make hundreds of people freak out in joy, like we do on the drumming circle in the, in the, on the beach. And um, I have to say that the Indian men are much more used to strong female artists, is my uh, impression. Everything is true that I create from A to C, so I decide and that's the clue you see. And I see Western guys looking at me like, mm, mm, she could be better than me. And since they live, men live in a very strongly hierarchical organized social life, and they refer themselves in that peer group, where is my position? And they keep comparing me themselves with the others. And if a woman is better than you, you are a total loser in their, in their perception of... of um, so I think that should come to an end now after 5,000 years, don't you think so? There is a very special relationship between me and my audience because I feel incredibly thankful that they came. I mean, they picked me. Uh, of all this cultural abundance here in, in Arambol, they came to, to, to see my show. <laughs> feel the responsibility not to bore them for one second, to give them as much as I can and never ever to give them the feeling that I'm above them because I know something that you don't, I have achieved, blah. It's not at all about this, it is. Um, we can all learn from each other, each one has a gift to give. This has become a place where uh, that is that where people go from their original culture and come and explore and then go back and then hopefully bring some of their own positivity and their own exploration and own uh, ideas uh, back and to enrich the original culture or cultures from where they're coming from. There is a tremendous amount of learning happening, uh, learning on a physical level and sometimes emotional and sometimes on a wisdom level. Personally, I like using the word wisdom better, better than spiritual because hopefully there's a chance to get a little bit wiser as we get older, but you never know. 
I'd rather be foolish than wise, you know. Well, sometimes the wisest ones are the foolish ones. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes, I sometimes like, get out of here. <laughs> Can't go. Uh, I tell you, wisdom. Give yeah. me a break. I often say the best way to fo uh, the best way to find liberation is to follow your passion. And I understand some people may not have a passion. I could not imagine the existence of life without not having a passion. But, uh, but you know, we need all types of people. So um, uh, uh, this little beach somewhere in India allows me to follow my passion. So, do I, am I liberated? I think so. I'm still up and down like a yo-yo, but that's life. Mm -hmm. well, we're just going to talk about odd time signatures. So most beats, you know, go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But with tennis, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, Dancing, you're always dancing on one foot to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. So it's it's about kind of letting yourself go with the groove. <coughs> back, 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 back to the track when you got back. <laughs> the message. It's basically transforming words like a sentence yeah. into beats. Okay. So like it's like if you go like boots and cats and boots and cats and and then you just uh, put more pressure on the on the beginning's words so boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and and then you take off the oots and the ats and just boots cats boots cats boots cats and it's yeah it's just kind of practice but I think when you when you use the words uh, in the beginning it kind of gives people the sounds that they need and then they just punctuate more on that. We are Puddles, and this is Tennis. I think everyone growing up on, you know, from Napster onwards, once music was kind of democratised, um, it's you know been bad for the industry in terms of sales, you know, record sales are terrible, but you now have all these bands of, of kids who've grown up being able to listen to whatever music they wanted, so be able to take risks on new stuff, and so everyone now has these huge spheres of influence, so there's not like, well, I mean, there are still rock and roll bands, but there's most bands are taking things from all over and mixing it all together and it's I think it's a lot richer now and it all I think we're sort of beyond the point of you know like grunge or punk or you know the hippie psychedelic in terms of there's not going to be another wave of like this type of music is cool now because the pop charts are so irrelevant and you know, in terms of interesting like indie or alternative music it's you can everything is kind of happening at once
It's impossible not to take back something you didn't know or have before you came here. The music, along with the sensibilities which each traveler brings along with them, creates a rare temporal reality. We should be aware of how grateful we like I say, I give gratitude to Goa Mother India, the land that lent me the magic formula. She taught me to train what I really can and she made me become who I really am. Living here a few months every year gave me the key to be a new kind of me. I really felt like saying thank you to this country. I don't want to stay to be a famous musician. I like to uh, stay in the shadow and just play for win my life. Um, I don't need a lot of money. I not yeah. Just make a little concert when I can and live with that. It's perfect. After all said and done, all we want to do is watch the sun go down. My, still my best moments in Aaron Bull is that it doesn't matter who you are, if it's an alcoholic or a meditator or a yogi or a glue sniffer, we all watch the sun go down. And we're all one at that time. We like it right now. So the best gig in town is watching the sun go down. It's like one flew over the cuckoo's nest without the doctors and nurses. And I can probably say that probably 10 to 20 percent, if Arambo wasn't here, there'd be probably an institution taking a rest. And uh, uh, we're giving the institutions a. Uh, <laughs> Actually, we should be paid by the world government, you know, because doctors and nurses, because we give them the freedom to express themselves. One season at Arambol may still be a narrow perspective of the bigger picture of its reality, which we may not have yet seen completely. But one visit to this music village is enough to ensure that you will come back and relive this experience every year hence. Arambol is open to any and all musicians who are looking to take a chance, to take their instrument and message and set out on a journey to see where it leads to. Us, we plan to go back again this year as well. This time with a musical instrument instead of a camera. I don't know that we actually have any good porous songs, okay. except for just like Space Jam. Hmm. Two, three.
it all amounts to nothing. I'm tired of trying to give it up. I'm tired of trying to give a fuck. I'm tired of wondering it all. Making music ain't a job. 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 But it's the only thing that I can do. Like, don't care if you're laughing at me. Long as I can make you able to get your lifestyle, lifestyle. Making music ain't a job. Making music ain't a job. Making music ain't a job. Me. <laughs> I can't believe I have a camera we're gonna point we're gonna cut this out. Right? How dare you just do that? We're gonna cut this out. We're gonna piss in your puddle.